Ah, oh, welcome. I'm the Munchin King. Uh, the time is currently 12.41 and uh, I am recording my fourth video of the day and it's Spider-Man Far From Home, official trailer. I don't often do movie reviews, movie trailer reactions, but I don't want to do this. Music overtook me completely, but this was meant to be a channel for variety, so here we go. This trailer's been out for a month and I still haven't seen it. I think it's about time that's changed. Looking forward to this movie indeed. Let's go. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. How considerate of you. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Okay, so... <clears throat> Yes. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I miss him too. Oh. Wow, he's very tragic for sure. He's a depressed Spider-Man indeed. He's meant to be getting a heartache over Mary Jane or that other blondie, not Tony Stark. Extraordinary scenes for sure. Where was this bodyguard? Isn't he meant to be bodyguarding? He should have thumped. Uh, Thanos on his big fat nose indeed. Useless security for sure. Seriously, where was that guy? I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Wow, look at that suit. <laughs> look at that suit. Not what I think of usually classic Spider-Man, but clearly he's uh, living his... Uh, uh, living with... Uh, <clears throat> Honouring Tony Stark with the tech he provided. At least he looks more like a spider now with those things. A metal spider. Hour, well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. For sure. I am going on vacation. He looks really odd, actually. What? Why has he got no neck? He's put on a lot of weight around his neck, it would seem. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I mean, I know they gave a warning there was spoilers right at the beginning, but I mean, they couldn't have, have left the spoiler part to a bit later on in the trailer. Straight away, spoiler. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, well, where was Nick Fury? He's another guy who was useless. Where, where did he vanish to? He popped up at the end at his... At the funeral. Oh, hello! After everything is over. Okay, fine. I remember. He turned into dust. Conveniently. It would have been great if he had not turned into dust. Considering we hadn't seen him for ages. As it was. It would have been cool to have seen him in Endgame. Uh, rallying the troops together. Like old times. But anyway. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You should <laughs> not ghost Nick Fury. Are you going on a date? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Okay, oh, what? What? I think MJ really likes me. That's MJ. Oh, yes, that's MJ, isn't it? Is it? I was my first fell alone. Wow. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider Man. Uh, why? He goes to a public school, does he not? How, how hard can he be to find? This is Mr. Beck. Wait, that ruins things a little, because the first trailer, I wasn't sure whether this guy was good or bad. I suppose he could still be a bit bad and betray everybody, but still, seeing them shake hands ruins the, uh, the tension going in a bit, doesn't it? The, the uh, anticipation is a bit thrown off the cliff. Uh, because the first trailer it was a bit more ambiguous. We could use someone like you on my world. Your world, Beck, is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. Wow, is that Sandman? It looks like a Sandman to me, but it's probably not. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Why is he suddenly so involved now, um, Nick Fury? Is he feeling guilty? He he's been doing practically nothing. The last few years and he was after uh, somebody uh, after the events of uh, Endgame he just decided oh maybe I should have uh, helped in some way and maybe this could have all been avoided somehow somehow it's gotta 
Find me someone else you can use. Where about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. Oh, of course. Everyone's conveniently unavailable now. Okay. Who else is left? They've got a whole team of Avengers. More Avengers than there's ever been, ever. No one's available. There's no, uh... Wait, who is there? The Hulk? Oh wait, he became pretty useless, didn't he? In the last two films. Uh, yeah, probably best we don't ask that guy anymore. Uh, there's... The new Captain America? Uh, was it really confirmed he'd be Captain America? I guess. He gave him a shield, so I suppose. Who else is there? Ant-Man! There's Scarlet Witch. She'd be useful. Um, Black Panther? I guess he has a kingdom to rule, but I mean, surely he'd care enough to, you know, drop by for a few minutes. Uh, who else is there? Um, the Guardians of the... Oh, I suppose they're protecting... The galaxy elsewhere. Oh yes, they went off with Thor, didn't they? There's other Avengers! I know there are, I just can't think of them right now. There's... Nebula? Maybe she'll help, anyway. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. How is Spider-Man supposed to stop that thing? Please, please, you've been to space. <laughs> what do you want, Peter? Awesome. I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. That's not a good idea, trust me. MJ, I am Don't. Spider-Man. What? No. Of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Seriously? Seriously? Why? Don't force comedy anymore, please. If it's so obvious to her, I'm expecting everyone to know if it's so obvious. But maybe she's just a very uh, keen observer. You're right. You may not be. Wow. Right, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Yes, I think he realized that by now. Oh my god! I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. What friends? Oh, needs those the friends. Next Iron Man. Mm. You going to step? You know what uh, feel is this is giving me? This is giving me a uh, Scooby Doo Monsters Unleashed feels. <laughs> Have you seen that movie Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed? I think it's called. That green, green uh, effect just reminds me of that movie for sure. Step up or not? What is that? That is insane never seen anything like that in Marvel movies before, except maybe the closest thing is in Thor, but especially on Earth, what have we seen like that? Uh, those people in Iron Man 3 who can uh, walk through fire and uh, their limbs grow back. Very fantastical indeed. I just don't believe no, no Avengers are going to come to their aid. That just makes no sense, especially after Endgame. The entire half of the population uh, was uh, wiped out. You'd think they'd have some very, very tight security measures in place after those events. But uh, I guess we just have to suspend this belief. So sp suspend belief for a while. I gotta get you guys out of here. Get on the jet. Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. <laughs> You're in New trouble. Plan. So July the 2nd is coming upon us indeed. Uh, yeah, it's the same sort of problem I had with Iron Man 3. After that, that was the first movie after the first Avengers and conveniently enough, everyone else had disappeared. The President of America was kidnapped and tied to some great monument and Captain America was... Where was he? Where, where was anyone? Where was the Hulk? Thor, I think, went off somewhere, I believe. I'm not certain. Or was that at the end of Ultron? But conveniently, everyone disappeared. And uh, you just have to suspend belief for a while. It's not very uh, co um, coherent, these movies, when you really think about them. So... <clears throat> But I understand you want to have a solo Spider-Man movie and you want to have solo films not connected to, uh, well, not directly involving all the other 
Avengers every time. <clears throat> but I, maybe that's why they should stick to a multiverse where the where the multiverse Spider-Man has not met the Avengers yet, and then they can make movies solely based around Spider-Man's adventures in his um, friendly neighborhood. Uh, you know, the classic way. And then they can keep on with this uh, Peter Parker that we know, who's been through uh, the Avengers and uh, all these extraordinary experiences with the whole team. But I'm looking forward to this nonetheless. Uh, I don't know much about Mysterio, so I'm not going to be one who is deeply offended by any mischaracterization which will probably uh, entail in due course, but thank you to me for suggesting to me this trailer, and I hope you stay with you. Farewell, my moonshins. Take care, my moonshins. <laughs> ah!